This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. To learn about the economic impact of BRD on the cattle industry. The economic impact of bovine respiratory disease has really no other competition in terms of significance. It, the, the cost of the industry uh, is estimated at well over a billion dollars. Mortality and morbidity related to BRD are on the rise. That's the bad news. The good news? Prevention works. Timing is critical. Uh, the, the respiratory disease process is very rapid. Uh, if, if the calf does not receive the vaccinations until arrival, uh, quite often time the, the pathogen has been incubating during that time and when the stress of, of uh, commingling, say, when they enter the market channels and then transportation uh, to a grow yard or a stalker operation, for example. So if we can go back a step and administer those critical vaccines at an earlier stage in that calf's life to ensure that they've been exposed to the, the, the vaccines to give them protection against those challenges, that's really the focus that the industry needs to adopt. Studies show that calfhood vaccination as early as two months of age can be effective. We know that as a, when a calf hits the ground, its immune system is fully functional and it, that's, the immune response gets stronger as that calf matures. There's data to suggest that a, a calf can be vaccinated at a time earlier than, than is traditionally accepted. Working with a veterinarian on a whole herd health program can help match vaccination programs to existing threats. A few dollars spent early in that calf's life translates into not just a, a better consumer experience with the relationship that we know that health has on carcass quality, but there's, there's also the, the the feeling that that contribution, that health input, improves the life of that calf. That the, the likelihood that that calf is going to get sick and either need to be pulled and treated uh, or ultimately succumb to bovine respiratory disease, the odds of that happening goes down as we do a better job preparing that calf's immune system at those critical phases prior to marketing and transportation. And that has value to everyone in the beef community. I'm Bob Cervera. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jamie Bloom, and I hope you enjoyed today's show. See you next week on Farm Factor. We're here every Tuesday on Ag AM in Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.